She's done it again. Friday, the 20th of September, which is crazy to already say that we're over halfway through my favorite month of the year. Kind of makes me a little sad, but also excited for all the things to come. I took off for two weeks, so this is the end part of my first week off, and you guys didn't miss much, but I kind of am happy. I haven't been working on as much content as I originally planned because I actually allowed myself to take some time off. I wanted to give you guys like a mini haul, of course, and catch you up on what you missed. I did order Ariana Grande's new Love Notes perfume, so I have it in front of me. Um, not open the Sephora box yet that I got it shipped in, but I'm excited to try that out. But I did go shopping with my mom, um, which was really nice for us to have just a dedicated, like, treat yourself day. I always feel like now my mom is in her I'm just a girl era now that she's retired, um, and she's focusing more on herself, which I love because my mom has always been selfless. I'm excited to show you just a few things that I got. I actually didn't get any clothes, which is surprising, but I don't need any. I have so many new items, especially from collabing with Forever 21 that I need to wear, um, and I'm always wearing my cozy clothes so I was like I don't really need clothes clothes I did get like underwear from Victoria's Secret but whatever sorry I just had to fix my camera because I ran out of memory on my card I'm gonna show you guys what I got starting off with it's on my finger I got this Swarovski ring with my mom she bought this for me and she got a matching one for herself and I have never owned anything from Swarovski before, so I thought it was really, really sweet. Uh, we already have matching tattoos and bracelets, so now we have rings. Okay, so then everything I bought was kind of beauty related, except for Victoria's Secret. I bought a very cute bralette, which it's gonna seem like I'm flashing you guys, but I kind of want to show you it because it's really comfortable. I love bralettes, and I own two older Victoria's Secret bralettes. But this one has like a longer lace to it, so it's almost kind of like a crop top. And then this is just the bralette part. I'm very happy with that purchase. Yeah, I forgot I got this for free. I got a free warm and cozy body mist. And then I just got undies. I got the five for 30 pair of undies. I'm wearing one pair now, but I just really like these underwear. Um, the ones that are thick hip huggers. I think these are really flattering, especially if you have wider hips like me. That's what I got from Victoria's Secret. Then from Lush, I'm so excited because I love Lush and I feel like I haven't picked up things that I've wanted in a while. I got my bubble bar. This is the Co Comfy, I think is what it's called. Um, it smells amazing and it lasts a long time, that one in particular because it's so big. And then I got the Halloween limited edition pumpkin, which I had last year smells so good. I then got a massage bar, which if you've never used these, these are iconic. I was telling my mom, it's one of those things that you don't think you need, but once you use it, you need it. And I always get the sleepy set because it smells so good. Oh my gosh, like I just want to smell like sleepy all of the time. And then um, I got Let the Good Times Roll, which I don't like the packaging. They made it clear. I don't like that at all. I want the black package back, but um, I need to use this by the end of October. And I love her because she's cute. And then finally, I went to my homegirl nostalgic store, Sephora. So this is Summer Fridays. I have never used their lip balms. I think I also ordered one of their like travel masks that I have not been able to use because um, I didn't look at the ingredients fully before I left, but I did skim it just to see if it had like almond oil or anything in that. But this has Muru Muru butter. Muru Muru seed butter. Never heard of it. So I thought it was fine, but it turns out that's tree nut, so I didn't even try using this, so I'm gonna have to turn this in. And then I did pick up this Kiehl's um, Overnight Rehydrating Mask. I This is like my fourth one. And I This is one of the few beauty products that I have to repurchase frequently um, because I use this at least like two to three times a week at night and it smells horrendous, but it is fantastic if you have dry skin. Rihanna came out with a hairline. I decided to try their edge control gel because you know I love my little baby hairs. So I got the controlling type hair thickening edge control gel. I used it yesterday because I was wearing a pony and I just blew out my hair today, so my hair was on its last leg yesterday. Um, and I like it so far. You get a lot of gel in this. It's not too thick, but it's thick enough to really keep those baby hairs down. I like the fact that it was also hair thickening, so we'll see if that does anything. I love seeing edge control in main stores representation. And it is a gloomy, going to be rainy fall day in Maryland, so 
I thought it'd be perfect to be cozy. I literally just took a shower after cleaning this morning. It's 9 o'clock in the morning, and I'm about to go to the post office to drop off my Glamanista clothing, which if you're new here also, I have it linked in my description box, but I do have a clothing rental website where you can rent five to ten pieces every single month for one fixed price. So I'll leave the link to Glamanista.com, my website, in the description. If you have any questions about that, you can obviously leave it down below. I probably should do a YouTube video about this. I've been terrible at marketing this, um, but I'm getting my flow, okay? I'm catching up on things. So I'm returning two packages of clothing that I rented from my site. I do want to pick up a local iced coffee because I think that'll make me feel in the fall vibes and I also need to go to Trader Joe's to get just a few grocery items for tonight. So I'm gonna run errands first and then when I get back I am planning on cranking out some Halloween content. I've been filming a couple of different tutorials and I want to get two done today. One that is Ariana Grande themed which I thought would fit perfectly with the perfume and one that is purely Glamoween themed. So I figured let's vlog and experience it together. Now I am probably gonna put my hair up since it is gloomy and rainy outside. I wanted to show you my shirt. I'm obsessed with this, but it says I'm not mean. I'm just a Capricorn. As soon as I saw this, I had to order this from Finesse. It's giving it girl energy. And then I'm just wearing sweatpants with this shirt. Nothing too glam, so I'm going to put my hair up, probably put on a matching little gray hoodie, and then I'm going to run some errands. start going to more local places as opposed to going to Starbucks and Dunkin'. So the place I went to, I actually really, really love their lattes, but this time they have pumpkin spice. This is my first time trying pumpkin spice from Cunningham's if you're in the Towson DMV Maryland area. This is so good. I could literally chug that entire thing right now. So I am going to get ready to head home, but I'm really happy I went to Cunningham's because it's a true coffee, but they make the best ice lattes. So good. Is this aesthetic not giving us 2015 or what? I'm shooting my Scream Queens look for TikTok, and I'm also doing a one size foundation review <laughs> um, for TikTok as well. But my TikTok like Glamoween videos are not going to be full tutorials. I'll show each step but I'm not explaining them. So I figured I'd kind of take you guys through a throwback 2015 Ariana Grande Scream Cleans look just in case you want to do this for Halloween. Talk you through the products I'm going to use and then I'll just give you b-roll of me putting it on. So I am going to use my go-to brow gel elf brow lift and I do have to grab it but I think I am going to use my Too Faced brow pomade and pencil for the brows because Ariana Grande had thick brows back then. The primer I've been obsessed with, it looks a little dingy because it's been shuffled in my makeup bag. It's a Miracle 8-in-1 Hydra Gel. This looks like an old lady primer but it is amazing on the face especially if you have dry skin. And then they use the new One Size Foundations which if you didn't know, they just came out with these. I have not tried this yet, but I've been looking forward to wear testing this. They also sent me a sponge. Um, I'm a little afraid that these shades might be a little too light for me. And then everything else is pretty normal. I think I'm also gonna film a fall makeup tutorial this week, um, but I've been obsessed with the Too Faced Contour Sticks. At first I didn't like these, but it's grown on me. Um, and I used the shade Chocolate Lava, Too Faced Taffy Concealer. Of course. Um, the powder of the moment, that girl, Benefit Professional. This has replaced one size in my routine. I am going to stick to my chocolate bronzers by Too Faced. And Ari barely has any blush on, so I'm going to be using Velvet Crush but just the tiniest amount. I am then going to use Anastasia and Breezy. And then for eyes, I think I need to go grab the palette in Orange Sparkly Eye. We of course need the lashes. Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara, and of course their liquid liner because the thick wing we need. Probably wear Ardell lashes. And then finally for lips, I think I'm going to either use my Kylie lipstick because I feel like that's very 2015. This is in the shade Ginger though. I feel like this might be a little too brown for the look. So I might use a Too Faced liquid lipstick in their like pumpkin spice color from last year. So those are the things I'm going to be using while I film. So enjoy this little RE 2015 throwback. Whatever 
that you want I'll settle for nothing As long as we can keep the fire I'll do whatever you do unboxing and review and again this is for ariana grande's latest perfume if you don't know about her latest perfume she came out with perfumes called love notes she has several different scents coming out within a time span each different scent is only available in certain countries so i ordered obviously the u.s love notes scent so we are going to experience this together so the u.s love notes looks like this it's a beautiful perfect pink package very aesthetic very on brand and i actually really like this box let me take the plastic off so it has it has ag on the side like a new emblem and then on this side it says love notes again but it's like ingrained on the box i don't know if you're gonna be able to tell but this is giving luxury not just celebrity perfume and again the u.s scent is called pink woods jasmine petals tonka cashmere woods opening up the box the fragrance looks like this. It's very Parisian chic. I really, really like this. I feel like this is great to put on your vanity top, display it, simple. And the shape is like a tar pick shape. That's the best way I can describe it. So this is not like her past perfumes. She had her classic Ari perfume bottles. And then of course she started getting a little bit more innovative with the shapes, but all of her perfumes came with bases once she started changing from the Ari perfume. And now, this again is just giving classic chic, a little bit older. Like we're all becoming adults at the same time. It does have a little QR code on the back. QR code links directly to the fragrance info. This is described as airy, dreamy, entrancing. Introducing Pink Woods, the mesmerizingly delightful fragrance. Captivating and instantly appealing, this fragrance opens with sparkling notes of Italian bergamot. Love bergamot. Making the fragrance bright and inviting. The divine woodiness, love it, comes from both the back and heart and is wrapped in alluring vetiver, vetiver, a lotus flower. A beautiful blend of tonka bean and cashmere woods shines with a subtle hint of cotton candy. 
creating an unexpected, addicting, yet unforgettable signature. This sounds like my type of fragrance, okay? And then the notes, again, at the top is Italian bergamot and lotus flower. The mid notes is jasmine petals, tea leaves, vetiver. And then the base notes is tonka beans, cashmere woods, cotton candy. I ordered this from Sephora. You can also get this from Ulta in North America. So now it's time to smell this. I don't smell it right now outside of the bottle, but I'm so excited to spray this. Okay, are we ready? First of all, the mist. Nice. Oh my god. <laughs> She's done it again. Somehow, some way, she finds a way to do it every time. Okay, at this point, I own every Ariana Grande fragrance with the exception of Thank You Next. I don't know why I've never bought it. But this fragrance, first of all, very hint of similarity to the past fragrances. I feel like usually the Ari fragrances come out and it's like a variation of the previous one and they all smell different, but they all smell like they're related. This one smells like a distant cousin, which I really like because this is kind of very unique. And you can definitely get the cotton candy. It's giving soft womanhood. It's giving soft girl aesthetic. It's giving, this is what I want my life to be from now on. This smells so gentle and yet sophisticated, chic, ladylike. I am really shook right now. She's sweet, she's kind, she's gentle, but she's still confident. She sets her boundaries, she prioritizes her well-being. This smells so good. And I don't know if it's the flower, because I usually don't go for super floral fragrances. It might be the tonka bean in there, but there's like a unexpected note that takes it up a notch. It's not just sweet. It's like something everybody needs. Oh my gosh, this is a very, I, I can't even compare it to a fragrance that I own and I have a lot of perfumes for no reason. This is a stretch, a very far stretch. But if you like philosophy fragrances, I feel like this smells like, this smells like the very last notes a Philosophy Amazing Grace dry shampoo. Not the scent because Amazing Grace is so soft and I feel like it's almost like SPF smelling like. Um, but this has that like gentle daintiness, but it has a strength like a dry shampoo would. That is the weirdest description probably anybody will give to this fragrance, but if you know, you know. That's what that smells like to me. This smells so good. I am literally gonna wear this for the rest of fall. I just found my next go-to fragrance. I think that this does kind of feel and smell like her current era, and it does feel like a kiss, a gentle love note to the US. I don't know, like I think the branding marketing for this was everything because it ties directly to this fragrance. She did it again, Ariana did it again. This is fantastic. I would definitely 1000% recommend this fragrance. So now that I smell really good, um, I am going to clean up the huge mess that I made from filming. I need to figure out how to decorate the center of my room now that I have that table. So we're gonna do that next after I finish cleaning. I'm about to start making dinner now that it's the evening time, but I wanted to show you these pumpkins. Ignore the mixing bowl in the background, but me and my sisters painted pumpkins last week. I had a little pumpkin party. We have an extra pumpkin because Sam came late since he was coming after work, so he still hasn't painted his. But look at my sister's pumpkins. Talk about the baby hairs. And then obviously I did the pink thumb ghost pumpkin that looks a little wonky but a little cute because I am not the best painter. But I had to show you guys this. We're feeling the fall spooky vibes. Mm -hmm. 